Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing quite a different video and I'm going to be doing a video about how to start up a YouTube channel. I'm going to start this as sort of a little mini series of different sort of tips and tricks that I've learnt along the way on how to firstly um, make your videos quite engaging and to basically perfect the craft of making videos itself and then moving on to about growing audiences and all the other things that you can sort of do. Um, so I've been on YouTube this YouTube channel for four years now. Compared to what my first videos are, I have grown considerably in terms of skill level and sort of the way that I produce my content and variety in content as well. For the first few videos I was pretty much semi-copying themes and ideas, um, not necessarily the makeup tutorials, but I was for the first 30 videos, for example, I was basically running off a 30-day blogging challenge, so even the topics of those blogs and um, first few 50 videos weren't even my own because I was basically running off a cheat sheet from Tumblr. But doing that really made sure that I was able to firstly not be overwhelmed with, oh, what shall I do? I was just able to just sit down and make videos. I did make my first, that sort of 30-day challenge, challenge was the first time I ever published things on YouTube. So I quite literally would post every single day for the first month of me being on YouTube. And yes, it was exhausting and sometimes I even posted extra videos of on that on those days, but it taught me a lot about basically just getting content out of there. And that is the first thing that you need to do. If you want to start a YouTube channel, please stop watching this video I know that doesn't say get said a lot on YouTube, but stop watching this video, go and get a YouTube account, start up a channel and actually make something. Make content. Quite a lot of people will actually say you need to go do your research about the different varieties of things that you want to do. So if you want to be a beauty blogger, for example, watch a lot of beauty blogs. If you want to be comedy, watch a lot of comedy channels. I personally don't think that is overly helpful because at the start, you may just start copying everybody else's, which, to be fair, I did at the start as well. Like everybody does, because you haven't found your voice yet, you haven't found what you actually want to say, and what sort of style of video you actually want. So, my main recommendation is just get some device to record yourself with, be it a camera, be it a um, camcorder, be it your webcam, be it anything you like, just sit down, Start doing the thing that you want to do, have the idea of your first video and just get it up there. Don't buy any equipment because I'm I'm taking this video as sort of the very basic level. You've never made a video before in your life. You have no training at all, which is fine because that's a brilliant way to start. If you start from nothing, you could only get better. So the first thing is, is use what you have available. Use the camera that you have, be it your webcam on your laptop or anything, and use the video editing software that is already on your computer. Film in the daytime, I actually do have a softbox right here, uh, mainly because of the way that my room is. I have Velux windows, so I don't have a lot of light. Film in the daytime, so you don't need to buy expensive lights. Pretty much, your first video should cost you nothing. Because to be honest with you, until you've scripted, filmed, edited, uploaded, and done all that, you actually don't know what the entire experience is like. You may like watching YouTube, but you may not want to actually physically do the vlogging yourself. And that's completely fine, because vlogging isn't for everyone. I personally really hate editing. I would do anything but edit a video, because I find it horribly, painfully boring. I just don't like it. I don't like my own voice, so this is just going to irritate me. But that is a sort of a hurdle that I just had to firstly just get over, but it meant that there are some aspects that you will not like, and partly it's perseverance for the things that you really don't like to do. It will be so weird for the first time you hear yourself on camera, but also you need to sort of test the water and see if this is actually a hobby that you really want to do. Buying all the expensive equipment to make it look like your favourite big name YouTuber is just going to be a waste of money if it turns out that you just don't like making videos at all. So yeah, you don't need to spend anything on your first video. Just Get it up and get it out there. Don't make it perfect. Because if you try to make it perfect, you will spend hours agonising over that one video. The main key thing for YouTube is to have 
constant content, not sort of everyday content or instant content, but make sure that you upload regularly. So the main thing is to get up content. The second thing is to carry on doing content. If you are doing YouTube to be like your big name celebrities, to be a YouTube millionaire, please don't even bother. This is not a platform for you to become rich off, for this to be your permanent job. There are a fair few who have this as their permanent job, but quite a lot of the times they have other things to do for it. If you're doing this for the love of wanting to be famous, then it's going to be so disheartening for the fact that you just don't get any views. And to be honest with you, you won't get any views on your first couple of videos unless you're exceedingly lucky. This is a counter, this is how much content is being uploaded to YouTube as I'm speaking. This is an insane amount of content. That is the amount of hours that are being uploaded and the amount of hours that are being watched. This isn't counting in minutes because it's just going to be too big of a number to fit in. The amount of things that are being uploaded to YouTube so much, you're basically crying into a river. So if you're wanting to do this because you want to be a celebrity, I wouldn't suggest you even try. Do this because you want to make videos. Do this because you want to sort of build a small community around yourself. Do this because you love what you're wanting to talk about, be it beauty, comedy, politics, the environment, food, whatever. Do it because you love the content that you're actually making, not because you want to make money off it, because you're going to be so disheartened. In the first year that I made videos in 2012, I made 90 videos. They pretty much averaged about 12 or 15 views each. I had a bit of a spike where something went over 100 and I was crying with joy because that happened. I got less than 2,000 views on those 90 videos in my first year. This is a reality for most YouTubers. No matter how good your content is, this might be a reality that you will have to face. I'm not saying that just because it's the rule for everyone that it's going to happen to you, but you should be doing this for the love of the content not because you want to get famous. If you're doing this because you want easy money, then I suggest you go pick up a part-time job because that's going to be a lot easier for you. I don't really want to say this to scare people or to sort of make people not want to do this because there are so many nice communities that you can build and, you know, you may not have the following if you're wanting a beauty channel like Zoella or Fleur de Force or whatever. You know, my little hub of people that I have on this channel is such a nice little group of people that I'm able to communicate and interact with people so easily and I'm able to... It's like having a community... You're building a community in yourself even though you don't have thousands of followers. It will be tough and you will learn as you go but honestly that is the best way for you to do it. You can sit there and watch tutorials but do it because you love it and continue posting even if they don't get any views and even if you do feel disheartened but don't make numbers count for anything because honestly numbers don't mean anything. So those are basically my top tips for the absolute basics of getting started with a YouTube channel. Just start making content, upload it as often as you possibly can so you really get into doing the content. Make a video because you want to make a video, not because you want to get famous, because it's not going to happen. And finally, just have fun with it and realise that this is a platform that there is hundreds of people online and there is hundreds of hours of content being uploaded every second. But do it because you love it and just have fun with it. And if it's a hobby that you love personally and if it's just you talking to your camera and you're getting 10 people to watch it, that is still a great thing to do and I really do recommend it because it's just... Um, so that's it for this video. I will be doing some more videos sort of about brand building and about um, social media and sort of gaining a larger audience but also some more nitty gritty kind of things. I do have two videos of sort of behind the scenes and sort of technical questions if you have anything that you want to know specifically about how I personally make videos. But that's about it for now and I shall talk to you guys later. Bye!